Uh, but first, in the past half an hour, the Prime Minister's former ethics adviser, Lord Geit, has had his resignation letter published after he quit last night in it. He says he was asked to consider measures which deliberately breach the ministerial code. He said, This request has placed me in an impossible and odious position. The idea that a Prime Minister might to any degree be in the business of deliberately breaching his own code is an affront. I can have no part in this. Nikki Aitken joins us now. There she is. Hello, Nikki. Good to see you. Um, I, we, we wanted you on the programme because we wanted to talk about the debate that you're having uh, today. Uh, rental, the rental sector is very important to many people. But I do just want to, to ask you for your reaction to Lord Geit's resignation letter. I haven't read it, to be honest. I have been too busy this morning uh, looking at my short-term lets debate speech this morning. So I can't really say much about it, Gloria, because I, I haven't read it. Read a line to you. The idea that a prime minister might to any degree be in the business of deliberately breaching his own code is an affront. I can have no part in this. Well, look, that is very concerning to read that, to hear that. And I'm sure the prime minister will be uh, considering what he does next on, on, on what uh, Lord Guyter said. I'm sure we will be hearing more this afternoon on a replacement for Lord Guy. And, you know, I think we are all aware that. The ministerial code is there for a reason uh, and that ministers have got to adhere to it. And let's see what the Prime Minister has to say uh, about what Lord Guy has actually written.